Welcome to the Gospel Road. And we are going to do this, uh, which I've done the past couple years, and that's uh, read the Christmas story. It is Christmas Eve 2011. Hopefully you're having a great time with family and friends and always remembering the reason for the season and sharing God's love, which really, when you think about it, that's what it's about. It's about the love of God during this season and what God did for us by the birth of his son, which with Christmas also comes Easter with the with the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We start with Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, and this year I'm going to use the New King James Version. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she found out she was with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall come, shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. And Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did an angel the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod heard the king, the Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared, he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me, then I will come and worship him also. Well, when they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warmed in a dream, warned in a dream, they should not return to Herod. They departed for their own country another way. Now, when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry and sent forth and put to death all male children who were in Bethlehem and in all its districts from two years and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men, then was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her child, refusing to be comforted because they are no more. Now, when Herod was dead, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the young child's life are dead. Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. 
But when he had heard that Archethus was reigning over Judah instead of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, and being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into the region of Galilee, and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, through Matthew chapter 2, verse 22. That's the story of Christmas, or the story of the birth of Jesus. Again, it's a great time of the year, a great time of season. And I always want to remember you know, what God has done for us, the relationship for us to have with him. By him giving Christ, the birth of him, doesn't matter when it happened. That's always up for discussion of when the actual, you know, it could have been in spring, it could be in the fall. That doesn't matter. What matters is that he was born in flesh and that the biggest celebration would be Easter with the death and resurrection. So he was died for our sins so that we may know him personally. So we would be able to go to heaven. And what I remember for Christmas is that is the sharing of God's love and the reminding of how much he loved us is that how we need to love one another. As they always say, it's better to give than receive. And that's what I really believe Christmas is about, is to really give that to others and really share with them what God has done for you and how God gives you what you need to how God takes care of you. Thank you for listening to the Gospel Road, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and enjoy this holiday season with friends and family. But I do want to give the opportunity. I never want to do uh, one of the Gospel Road programs and not give the opportunity that if you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, or maybe you did and you've had issues and you've maybe stumbled, I want you to pray with me right now and just say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for opening the door to heaven for me. God, thank you for what you have given me in your son Christ to allow me into heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for listening to The Gospel Road. And again, have a Merry Christmas. Be safe and enjoy the time that you can with family and friends. Have a great day and God bless.